Bwana apoye sifa. Eh ni time nataka mfano ni sio Nairobi pekee sisi wageni hapa. Bwana apoye sifa. Mkutano nataka nipangaze hivi. Leo vile mfalme wetu amekuja amefungua kanisa ameoma ameweka mafuta. Tafadhali hatutaanza jimbo tatu sababu kawaida yetu tukianza tu jimbo tatu vitu tena inatolewa ya kwamba wapi Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunataka kulingana na saa tunataka mzee apate nafasi nzuri ya ku ongea na kutupea injili na kubariki ele ya madai. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Na hivi ukijua wewe ni kiongozi wa hapa Nairobi kutoka kijiji hadi county hebu simama pale huko Unajua simama kesho tutakuwa mwingine kule Hebu simama Hebu mwingine Thank you very much naona kana wote ni kwa vizuri tunataka Bwana apewe sifa ndeni ambayo leo ni wa ya kwanza kuingia katika eh service zetu tafadhali hebu simama wali kutoka huko ndeni ndeni simama tu ndeni niliona huyu amenyo mikono niliona mama tafadhali wewe sio mbili na mama
say we build a new church. We all agree to build a new church. The project started by every member donating 20 shillings of Shereka, then bringing one stone every Sunday. We managed to raise 300 stones six by six. Unfortunately, a thief broke in and stole. Took all our stones, but we didn't give up. God's plans are always good. The development chairman Vincent Ojapo and Moreta Jen, Moreta Reverend Jen Accord, called for another meeting to look for the way forward. The meeting went successfully, and we agreed to form Executive Development Committee to be chaired by Chair Lady Reverend Jen Accord of Work, Vice Chair Benson Ochino Rajoro, Secretary Justice Makoha, Organizing Secretary Reverend Victor Uma. Treasurer Vincent Ogiambo, Coordinator Samuel Omondi, John O'Dean, Mesha Cochino, and Laura. <laughs> the executive committee was only mandated, only mandated on church projects, uh, church construction projects. In January 2017, members were asked to start donate, donating towards this project again. The process went well, whereby the first round we managed to raise at 1,800. Motivation. We thank God for this time through our high priest and the Archbishop of Nineveh, most reverend Dr. John Horace Akimuli too, through the message he delivered, saying the rebellion was a prophecy and it's over. Let us focus on building our church. We also say that it was a must for, for them to leave the church and the new members to come in. The same message was delivered by Reverend the Speaker during the Nairobi Conference Service at the Media Assembly. Saying the Archbishop was given us as opportunity, has given us opportunity to build Nairobi. Those messages gave us motivation to work hard. First John chapter 2, 18 to 20. Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist have come, this is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For for if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But they are going, showed that none of them belong to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. Through the Fantastic Project, we take a Makanisa, we go around, we received 40,700. It was a good start for the project. Construction start. The office of the Central Pastor, led by Morita Bishop, Jena Kok, an office of pastor led by Pastor Moses Burudi came together and agreed to seek permission from God before we start construction. We held, we held several pressure services asking God to give us direction. God appointed senior priest, right reverend Isaac Moyangi, to lay foundation stone. Also mentioned to witness the work were general priest, priest John Ruko, and the Marigo Pastor Moses of Tomoma. Karen Nani, Wilson of 2017, the foundation stone was laid by senior priest, Reverend Isaac Koyage. Present leaders were General Priest of John Oruko, Nairobi SA, right Reverend Steve Hanson, Moderator Bishop again, a court of work, Pastor Moses Bogoli, Church Elder Samuel Omondi, and all members of the land. I am coming to Sokuna Moja 2017. The project started officially. The construction, the construction went on step by step, working in different stages due to cash constraints, limitations. The total cost of construction as per current was 1.8 million, funded by Madari Assembly members. No politician, no other institution participated. Vision. After introduction of health and education program ministry, in Africa, this is the church. It was our vision to build a one-story building with the main purpose to use the upper, upper floor as a school or a clinic, the upper floor, as a school or a clinic. But the main agenda was to introduce Bible school or school of theology so that we could equip our people with the word of God, teaching them how to minister the word of God through coordination with the Nairobi County Administration and the Nineveh Reporters Education Program. Daily school was the best source of employment for our people. We believe in our church, we have good qualified teachers, but lack of schools to teach in. Legitimacy of the plot. The plot 
which African Israel Heritage and Library Building is situated, is situated, is registered under African Israel Minerva Church. Copy of registration is in the office of PSA Right Reverend Michael Enzo, Minerva Headquarters. Thanks to our headquarters, to our bishop, John Mwere Sakiwili, you gave us Mandare competent leaders and good servants of God who committed themselves in ensuring this project come, you know, this project is completed successfully. We appreciate their work, good work, of uniting church together in prayer and support in contribution. We also congratulate them very much, Pastor Moses Gurudu. Pastor Daniel Abuko, Reverend Tina Hall, Reverend Esther Monawaroy, Reverend Esther Kwanea. Current leaders, Pastor Moses Onoka, Reverend Paul Kubea. Our humble request to headquarters and the Nairobi County Administration to come in and support so that we finish the upper floor, which is approximately 3.5 million. We congratulate our coordinators and the members who took their time to this project to ensure no mistake of us. We also congratulate the area administration for working close with the church through their leader, Chairman Dean, and Chief of this area, water administrators. Thank you and may God bless you. Conclusion. In conclusion, we thank our Archbishop of the the most reverend Dr. John Meresa Kibulito, for his prayer and encouragement throughout the whole process. May God continue using and giving you more strength and the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding. We regard you. We as African Eastern Heavenly Church family, we are grateful in your leadership. May God of heaven bless you. The church of Madai, the Lord has built this sanctuary for his own glory, using his people to do the work. Be strong in defending your faith and obeying the commandment of God. As you wait your reward from heaven. May God bless African East Navy Church. May God bless my guys of God. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Na shukuru mungu na na washukuru wote ya mbao umiwite siti ya leo inapu kumuliwa rasmi na skokwe mkuru wa Israeli inewe. Kwa na isa sifiwe, na tema tati kwa wale wa mikisika na munga wa bariki. Salamu. Sifuwa na sifiwe, ebu mpende mkono kwa mwaya mara ingine. Yani mpende mkono kwa mwaya. Tumepata ya kwamba hili kanisa kwa hile kizungu inaelewa kilogo bado kuna nyuma inaongeza wakati. I think hiyo ndio hile nimeshika. Basi, itakua mzuri sana kama executive wanaonge huko pastro alafu wa shiriki wanangoje alafu kwa hile hapo ingia anaigia kule yu kwanza. Amayo ikipanyike in Nairobi, this will be the best area this county to put in for our locations. Amen? Kwa hivyo wewe jenda yako, uwa nasema kila siku, tutachagoma kanisa county na ingia. Wewe unalia, uleti county kwangu, na nyungu mbejele ele metari. Aha, Wana sifiwe. Na nyo hii na kuhuma. Na kini chenye mekuhuma ni wakwanga kipi na pika kukwana. Amen? Kwa hivyo na yobi, tukitoka hapa, tapalali, tuwaze, kujetwa na nyumba. Mata gasu, tuko hapa na ke baba sofu. Mimi nikuwa na kia ni bibiria. Kwa kukai hivi, kumelikeke. So, walikuwa na omba. Kwa hivyo na mwana wewe, hivyo mpika, kwa 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 kwa
Watu ambao wana imani wanafikiria ni neme Mungu eseni hapaki kazi. Ile mkuu mkuu ule wanyunya yale yalikuwa ni kudhibitisha ya kwamba Mungu wa Israeli ambaye ni hai amekubali kazi ambayo imetendeka. Amen. Hapo na hapo Lakini Yesu alisema wana macho na roho. Wana masikio. So kwa kwa wale ambao hawana imani kuna bi unakuja kwa wale ambao hawana imani you see when you prophesy something prophetic message comes to those people who do not have faith so that what has happened to them another person prophesizes and then they believe so he kitu kumbe then prophets men in our ngesa usitu so kama baba amko naamini kwamba watu madhara Mungu aliwatumikia kuanzia mwanzo na kwamba Mungu wa Israeli bado iko hai msikilie mvua ilikuja kwa ajili yangu au kwa ajili ya wale wanaamini hapana imekuja kwa wana ambao hawaamini when something like prophetic message comes or prophetic uh, activity takes place it could be hirisha kwa kwamba Mungu wa mbinguni bado anafanya kazi yake kwa wakati huu kwa hivyo kama wewe unafikiri Israeli ni dead wewe ni mkufu wakati Mungu wa Israeli bila aliyefanya kazi na babu zetu tukinyenyekea mbele zake tukifanya kazi yake kwa uaminifu na kwa uadilifu atatupa rehema atatupa neema na tutatekeleza kazi yake even if we are weak god will use our weaknesses to do and fulfill his purposes that's what he says anasema kwamba atatumikia wale ambao ni wadhaifu kuwaangaisha na kuwaaibisha wanaofikiria hao so watu madhari kama watu wengine walikuwa nafikiria ni watu dhaifu siku ya leo Mungu amedhihirisha udhaifu wenu kwake ni nguvu amen so tunapofanya kitu tunapofanya kitu watu wanakudharau wewe mtegemee Mungu siku moja Mungu atakuinua atakuinua juu sana hata wale ambao walikuwa nafikiria wana nguvu watapata ipi kwa wale ambao mko na dharau watu madhare aibu yenu ndio hiyo sasa amen bila kile nasema ukidhani umesimama inishua usianguki ukidhani umesimama make sure usianguki kwa sababu ukianguka utaulizwa umeanguka sababu gani uko msimamo and so on that note i want to thank all of you sababu we still have another face of presence ambaye anakuja but i'm hoping we will be prepared for it so that tunapokuja kubarikiwa kwa hii hekalu mpya you are lucky haija hakija hakija pata dhambi sahihi tunataka tu kuanza ibada mpya hapa so kwa mzuri if you know how to use an opportunity a spiritual opportunity because that was that never that kairos is very rare promos is always but to meet god at a particular time in his presence is not very common like right today yes i mean the picture is what mvua in the picture nini mko sawa na mungu. Sio kama hamna dhambi. Sio kama hamna dhambi. Ni wakati ule tu ambao kwa wakati huu ni kama wengi wenu wa Nelson na Mungu. Na Mungu alikubali kesha yenu. Na Mungu amekubali maombi yenu. Ni kupitia katika nafasi hiyo ndogo. I want to appeal kwa wale ambao hawajui bila roho anafanya kazi. Use this opportunity to ask God kwa yale maombi yote vitu vingi ambavyo umekuwa ukiomba 
will be at our behalf. So when I come to pray, that means you are talking. When I just come to pray, that God listen to the prayers of your people, each individual as they have appealed to you. God will rubber stamp your request, and your request will be done. Yesterday we were at Hazel's place. God also and the Irish were working to your work on a type of jam. Okay, bad and bad you can have a hands. Okay, boy, one in a puja in Yeshi Kuba. The Mungu Kupitia from the Buzaki or Kunishwa. I petition for the work of Shanga. Okay, you want to talk a jam or mama or attack to a Pentecost to the Ungos. We cross over the summit to end up with Israel. Come away, we will find you can see you sit down. Come on, you are going to be in the sun. And we to talk about the God is still. Who are you going to do? I think I'm going to share the ways to do it. Munga has a good teacher. I think I'm going to find you down with your staff. Munga, and I'm aware of you. Ali Kubali, where you can figure my little figure. Lapa kwa sababu we mwenye huko unasikiza, huko unaona. Lakini when you realize, ya kwamba mungu anaumuhimu na anatawa kutumikia. And you surrender to God. I tell you, you use it. Watu na kutharao, lakini you use it, mighty. So, watu na kutharao sana, lakini God turned to use the apostle soul in this one way. I taught you before. Kusia wakanisa kutumikia mungu kwa unu mambo yako. Bali, kuja kanisani, wache mungu akutumikie ili mungu wa unu kwa mambo yako. If you just be obedient and let God direct you, I tell you, you'll go through so many things. Na hii vile mesema, we are going to sit the secretary na sub-county leaders. Then tuwane kwamba, hii hili jengo, ni mekamilika akone kapasiteti. Amen. But if you put whatever request you put, but if you agree that I 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 agree Bile munga masaidia mkato 1.8 milo. The entire county, watu wa Nairobi wote, tashirikiana, na tu kai kamati, na tu kubaliani every month. What can we do? Kwanza ni project kwanza, kuzambi ya requested me. Kwa kuna tujana kwa projects, ni na basu ziko, tutamandiza projects ya matare kwanza. Amato, kama kuna sub-county ingine, you bring in your request, then you correct the program. Kama baada ya kumaliza ya madari. Kusa they are all our churches. Hii ni ya watu hata wa kipira, ni ya watu wa kitangela, ni ya watu wa dinere. If we can able to request on outside, it is possible. But I think God will use those who want to do it, and we should be able to accomplish everything. So I am welcoming those who are in charge, Mwje, mtu petishe kwa 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 chenu cha cheke kwa mga mfupi kwa 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 so kwa 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 wakati watu magale wakatipanga wakata iketi umesikia vile mfalme wetu wakasema tajua atuta pata na fasi jigine sababu kutoka kwa hii wakadibisha bishops alafu mapeleka mwenye juu headquarters Ona ule mgeni Hamechoka ni maidili wapia Kwa shiriki wa hapa 
ule ni wangei, ule ni wangadhare, mpe yule kiti. Mpe kiti. Kana ni kiti, kuna hata vijana wa kiti tu. Mzee, chukua hiyo kiti ukaje. Umeshafika karibu? Kila mpeana kiti, kuna kiti extraacha tukoletee basi. Eh, mimi nimepeana, chukua kiti ya sinako. Bwana Pesifa. Ebuji tarisha ili ipeke falme hapo tumia na wako madhare hata na wewe ili hii kanisa ukiwa uko wapi kujua ni kanisa lako. Ninatangazo wakati wanajipanga kukata keti. Nime sio vile Natalia amesema kwamba hii nyumba ikaketi kamati itapandishwa juu nimekubali na nimekaribisha lakini hata mtoto sema mama baba akiwa na umri haleluya tuna kanisa moja ambayo tulifukuzwa mali tulikuwa saa hii msimu wa mvua tulishapata pesa tukalisi pahali watumishi wanaomba kama hakuna mabati Bwana asijiwe. Nikaomba ili just a request kwamba mzee kama atakuwaji na Yumbi County as a whole mtakuja satellite kutusaidia. Ile nyumba nzuri tulikaribisha na mfano alikaribisha mwenyewe alisha chukua. Sasa saa hii watu wote wa satellite tuko kwa kiwanja lakini tulishapata pahali tumeanza kusimamisha miti tunaomba as soon as possible mzee akiwa hapa ni tutawaita tuende pale tafadhali leta tu tupige roof kabla tujamoa roof ya madhari kuongeza nyumba nyingine piga roof ile ya satellite alafu Mungu atawabariki piga Yesu magofu haleluya watu madhari karibu patia tarehe ni tawapea tarehe tawapea tale tawapa ndandika na hata ikiwezekana tutaona vile mfalme wetu atakuja juu ile kanisa lake haya asante mama county bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena Mkutano wote kwa jumla wa mama na wazee na watoto na msalimu katika jina la Yesu mjambo jambo ya furaha jambo ya baraka jambo eh nimechukua fursa hii ya kusimama mbele yenu kwa ajili ya takazo moja ya kwamba hapa nyuma tulikuwa na maendeleo kwa wa mama tulikuwa tumeshikana kwa ajili ya jambo jingine ile ya corona lakini kwa saa hii Mungu ametuwezesha imepita tunataka wa mama wapate nafasi yao ya kuendeleza ma project katika assembly zao bwana asifiwe mkutano ambao unakuja after ya 10% itakuwa ya wamama na tunaomba tu Mungu akituwezesha eh, kila assembly tuangalie shiriki 500 na zifike katika account tuko na project katika ofisi yetu Buruguru ambayo tutaanzisha bwana asifiwe na nadhania wa mama sema wote msikia hilo tangazo na atena mwezi wa sita wa mama sub account eh, tunatarajia ile maharagwe na registration ya makao makuu mjipange katika ile mkutano ya wiki nzima eh, msiwe mnasema Amjadangatiwa. Na hapo kitaarisha kwa ile ya wa mama kongamano ya mwezi wa 8. Sasa Nairobi kwa mke tulikuwa nyuma, tukute soft. Na wata mama msikiliza mbariki. Lakini ni
Hallelujah. Hallelujah.